Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making keto roasted potatoes four ways. So I'm gonna show you the different types of potatoes that we're gonna be using. Um, you know, these are some very unique radishes, but um, trust me, I have tried it with each and every one of them and they are so worth it. So whichever one you decide to go with, you are going to be blown away at how much they actually taste like real potatoes. So keto or not, you guys have to try this and let me know what you think. So let's get started. Okay, so here we have a daikon radish. Okay, so this is one that we're going to try. We also have a Korean radish. Okay, these are all radishes. So let me know if you guys um, use any of these. This is a turnip. And then we have our red radishes. Okay, so we're gonna be using all four and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna prep these. And then of course, we're gonna taste them all and see which tastes the closest to potatoes. Okay, so this is a daikon radish and we're gonna start off by peeling it. So just use a potato peeler. And once it's all peeled, I will show you what we do next. So I'm gonna finish peeling the daikon I'm gonna peel the turnip, I'm gonna peel the Korean radish. The only one we're not gonna peel is the red radish, okay? So we're gonna chop. And then you can either half it or you can quarter it, but I'm just gonna leave it half so that they can all be pretty similar in size, okay? Okay, so this is what our first radish looks like. This is the daikon. Beautiful. Okay, now let's move on to the next. Okay, so now we're just gonna place this here while we go and cut the rest, okay? And now we move on to our Korean radish and we're gonna do the same thing. We have to peel. So I'll show you what it looks like once we're done peeling, okay? So now we have our Korean, this is our Korean radish. So this one, is, it is a little bigger, so we're going to quarter it. And you know, these are pretty big pieces, so if you wanna make, it, make them a little smaller, then you totally can. But I'm trying to keep them the closest to a, potato, a real potato as possible. So I'm just quartering it. So these are kind of big, you know, I might end up cutting them. Yeah, I might end up cutting them a little more just so that they're not huge, huge bites. But so I'm going to try to get them as close. Yeah, so I'll have to end up cutting them a bit more because you want them to all bake evenly, right? Okay, so as you can see, they're pretty much the same size. And now we're going to move on to our turnip. Yeah, these textures are very different, I can tell. And this one here seems a little more dry than the rest, but I'm gonna rinse these really well and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're gonna cut them in half. So they can be, you know, about the same size. Perfect. So just going to half all these little babies and we're going to put them to the test. Which radish tastes more like a real potato? Let me know if you guys have tried them. Have you tried making potatoes with radishes? Which one have you used and which was the best? Let me know. And here we are. Red, the red radish coming at you. Okay, so here we have the daikon. We have turnips, red radish, and our Korean radish. So you can use some, we just have some regular um, extra virgin olive oil or some avocado oil. I'm gonna go with the avocado because we are baking this at 425, so obviously make sure that your oven is preheated at 425 degrees. And um, avocado oil has a much higher smoking point. It's at 500, so obviously, you know, um, olive oil is at three, 350 or so. So let's go ahead and drizzle this over and then we'll end up tossing it, but right now we're just... And now we're going to 
Go in with some black peppercorn. Yeah, I like to grind my pepper on the spot because I feel like it's just more fresh and has like a better taste. And you can use obviously any seasoning you like. We're going super, super basic because I want to just see what it would taste like, almost like a real or regular potato. Then we have our real salt. I love this canister, by the way. It just makes life so much easier. Um, and I'll link it down below in case you guys are interested in it. But we're just doing salt and pepper, super, super basic. We're going to toss this in the oven and I'm gonna show you what this looks like. And then we're gonna finish this off with a little taste test and see which, which radish tastes the closest to a real potato. Just wanna talk to make sure that they are nice and coated in the oil and the salt and pepper. Try not to mix them so that we know, we know. They have a different texture. I don't know if you guys can see that through the screen, but I'm not gonna mix them, mix them up, so don't worry. And of course, if you need a little more seasoning, then just add it, but this is just to taste. I didn't really measure. If I had to, I would say maybe about a teaspoon of pepper and salt. Let me know if you guys have tried air frying them. Uh, which method do you like best? Because we're just gonna bake them. That's more traditional, like what people usually would, you know, how you would cook a potato. So that's why we're going with that method, but you can totally do a air fryer. Now we're gonna make sure that these are all flat and that they're not all crowded and that way they're gonna cook as evenly as possible. So just trying to make sure they're not you know, like on top of each other. Okay, so we're gonna put our radishes in at 425 and we're gonna check them in about 20 to 25 minutes or until they're golden brown. Okay, so our potatoes are done. Wow, look at this. Yes, girl. All right guys, so this is what our potatoes look like, our potatoes. Um, again, these are the uh, daikon, we have our turnips, the red radishes, and then our Korean. So they're looking beautiful to me. So let's dig in. We're gonna do the taste test. Um, let's start off with, I don't know, this one looks kinda good to me. I made a little mixture of some ketchup with sriracha, but I really wanna taste like the potato, the radish, so um, I'm just gonna do it alone, okay? So we're gonna start off with our little daikon. Let's start off with our daikon. Okay, this is a big piece. Okay. Hmm. Little sweetness. I like that. I feel like it could totally pass as a potato if it had, you know, like some garlic and herbs and stuff like that. I just did um, salt and pepper so that we could really just be able to um, you know, just taste like the actual veggie, the vegetable, and see how well it compares to a potato. So I say that's good. That's daikon. Now this is the turnip. Wait, let's do a little sparkly to wash the palate. Oh my god, my tongue almost fell. Okay. So this is the turnip softer in texture, a little more like a potato flavor, but softer. This has more of a texture, so anyway, I'll do, like at the end, I will see. Now let's do the red. This is not a little scared because, you know, typically ravanos or radishes, these red radishes can be a little bitter. Okay. That tastes, so far, that tastes the closest to like the texture and taste of potatoes. Okay, now the last one is the uh, Korean. Let's get one that's a little crispy. Hmm, it has a really good taste though. Um, I would say the texture, the closest to the potato is, in my opinion, the red radish. It has like the bite, more of like a potato. The Korean and the turnip have a similar texture inside where it's a little bit softer, but they're all really good. Like the, the taste is really good. 
This is the one I was kind of like, I don't know. Which one's this one, the turnip? Hmm. Yeah, the daikon has a different texture and is a little, has a tiny bit of a, I confirmed it. The one that has a tiny bit of a bitterness, but again, you can make other recipes with the daikon that tastes amazing, which I will be sharing soon. But for a baked, like roasted potato, there's a slight like bitterness. It's not gonna ruin the dish, but there is a slight little bitterness to it. And then the turnip, it's really like more of a sweet, subtly taste, so is the Korean. And then I would say the red radish is the closest to a potato. So that's like the verdict on these little guys. But they come so close to a real potato. They really, really, really do. The red <clears throat> radish, I think it's the closest to the overall texture and taste to a real potato for this recipe, like for a roasted potato. Like you're in the mood for like a roasted potato that you're actually gonna, you know, like this, like bite into. Okay guys, so there it is. The red radish and the turnip is the closest thing to a real potato. So either one is gonna give you that potato-like feel. It's gonna satisfy your cravings for real potatoes. Um, the other two are not bad options at all, but they're just, those two just come a little closer. I hope you guys really enjoyed this review. Please comment down below. Let me know if you have any other suggestions on something that comes really close to real potatoes. I have a recipe that's coming up that is going to blow your mind. So make sure that you turn your post notifications on so you don't miss any of my future videos. Guys, I love you. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.